So I hope you all enjoyed your dinner and let's now turn to the awards part of the evening. First, um, I'd like to talk about a, a former student that I just had the, the great opportunity to reconnect with. Um, she gradu graduated last year with her Master's of Public Policy degree. She is an impressive and driven young woman. Haley Kramer has discovered a way to live out the Humphrey School mission of advancing the common good through her passion for the arts and music. And those of you who have the copy of the magazine that's about the arts, you won't see a lot about Haley in there, but you'll see her vision and her passion as it's manifest in a lot of other different arts and public policy articles in that magazine. Haley is the recipient of the Marvin Berman, Borman Public Service and Community Engagement Fellowship. This fellowship was established to honor the memory of Mar Marvin Borman um, and is the result of one of the most generous scholarship gifts to the Humphrey School in our history. The fellowship was established for students in public policy committed to lives of service. And the Borman family set this up to honor Marvin Borman specifically because of that, because they really wanted to um, celebrate the work that Marvin did in the world in advocating for education, the arts, healthcare, legal, physical, and psychological protection for vulnerable communities, and his passion for economic development. Marvin Borman's engagement with this community reflected the spirit and, com and commitments that continue to animate the life of the school, and we're so honored to have this fellowship in his name. So here to tell you a little bit about what this scholarship has meant to her, I welcome to this stage a remarkable young woman, Haley Kramer. Kramer. Haley Kramer. Haley Kramer. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Here, I'll do another of uh, Abdul Amari here. Good evening. Good evening. That was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, as Laura said, I'm Haley Kramer, and I graduated from the Humphrey School last year in 2017 with a Master of Public Policy in Nonprofit Management. Um, my path to Humphrey was different from most of my peers. I came in with no experience in politics or the public sector, but I did have a deep passion for the arts, and I am incredibly grateful for the Borman Fellowship because it allowed me to combine this passion for the arts with my interest in nonprofit work as I pursued a graduate degree. Uh, I received my Bachelor of Music degree in flute performance from the University of Minnesota with the intent of becoming a professional orchestral musician. Uh, I spent my time performing solo recitals and playing in various ensembles, but I decided to do the responsible thing and add a minor that could be more lucrative in case music didn't work out. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know where my head was at, but then I decided, hey, nonprofit management, financial stability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I added a nonprofit minor and I began to intern um, in the fundraising departments of local arts nonprofits, um, including the Hennepin Theater Trust, the Walker Art Center, and Northrop here at the university. Um, I also began volunteering on the boards of the Metropolitan Regional Arts Council and the Upper Midwest Flute Association, uh, which yes, does exist. Um, <laughs> uh, I found that what I enjoyed about uh, performing was actually quite similar to what I enjoyed about nonprofit work and fundraising in particular. Um, and that was connecting people and creating shared experiences that maybe move us to walk the earth a little bit differently afterwards. Uh, to put it simply, the Humphrey seemed like the natural next step. Uh, when I was notified of my acceptance, I was even 10 times more excited to be notified that I received the Borman Fellowship because that ultimately allowed me to accept my invitation um, and to pursue a career that may not be so lucrative, but uh, truly is rewarding in so many other ways. While at the Humphrey, I worked part-time in the development office where I assisted in fundraising for student scholarships, and I actually worked this event the last two years. Uh, <laughs> uh, through that job, I was able to witness the impact that uh, all forms of scholarships had on students um, from future politicians to international humanitarian aides, I was constantly in awe of the work my peers were doing. Uh, as a fundraiser 
And as a proud Humphrey graduate, I would not be doing my civic duty if I didn't say <laughs> that your investment in Humphrey students really, really, truly is an investment in the future of our communities. After graduating, I landed a job at ArtSpace, where I work now. ArtSpace is an affordable housing nonprofit uh, that creates sustainable spaces for artists to live and work. Um, I've now found myself in the fortunate position of raising money for an organization that not only values the arts, but also recognizes the importance of building places where artists can thrive and actively participate in community-led transformation. Uh, through my work, I've met incredible artists across the United States whose stories vary from pursuing unfulfilling careers in order to live and create their art, to those with hard stories of experiencing homelessness, and uh, quite a few who actually lived with their families in art studios that didn't have bedrooms or, or a kitchen or even bathrooms in some cases. Um, I'm consistently humbled and amazed by the artists and community members that I meet through ArtSpace, and I'm grateful to yet again work for an organization whose mission I'm inspired by. And for anyone who is wondering, I do still actively perform on my flute in the Twin Cities, so I did not give that up. <laughs> um, the last thing that I want to share is that when I first came to Humphrey, I felt like a fraud for caring so deeply about the arts. They seemed very insignificant in comparison to things like immigration policy and food and housing policies, just as examples. But what I learned is that with the right support, the arts really can serve as a powerful driving force behind these issues. Uh, there is power in what brings people together and in what builds empathy and understanding of one another and the arts really do hold that power. Thank you.